Hello everyone, I hope you're all doing very well. So we've been asked to look at the air-to-air -air function of the Lightning Pod in early access. It's uh, October 2019, we're in the F16. See, of course, the answer is it works absolutely fine. The air-to-air -air functions, as per the manual of the T-Pod, work fine. They track targets. You, you can use your rate and then you can use your point track. But at the moment, you can't actually employ any weapons on it because for the air-to-air -air mode to work in the T-Pod, you can't click air-to-ground master mode. It, it takes the T-Pod back to air-to-ground mode. And the, presumably the way they're going to get around it is that they're going to use the T-Pod air-to-air mode with an air-to-air -air mode master mode here and an air-to-air -air mode of the Maverick. That's my best guess. The Maverick isn't out at the moment. So technically, it's, it works, but it's no use. So, as ever, we've got a cunning little way around this, and we're going to show you today. So, are you ready, RC? Ready. We like to think we do our uh, service with a certain amount of pride. Master arm on. Laser on. FCR on, even though we don't actually need it. And we're going to go air to ground mode. We're going to go CCRP. We're going to gain a little bit of altitude. Keep the speed relatively low. Yes, that will annoy wags, but go suck a lemon. Everything's set up on here. Next, we're going to go to our T-Pod, get it warmed up, get it air to ground. DMS down for soy. TMS down for foresight sloom. Uh, zoom, don't drop any bombs without telling me, please. Um, no. I'll see. Okay, now we need to go and find the blighter. So, I'm going to go RDR slew down. Let's go and find someone. In the meantime, I'm going to be getting altitude. Zoom Tracking. in. You're tracking, so I have problems. RC can track okay, I really struggle. I'm going to zoom right in, and I'm going to do the field of view even. Okay, I'm going for a point track. Yeah, you see there, the point track doesn't work, it doesn't track him. Uh, something about RC's computer can track him, and mine can't in identical situations. It is a bit annoying, but it will eventually alleviate itself, sort itself out. This takes a bit of, um, a bit of messing around. Come on, track, baby. So what I'm doing is I'm just banging TMS forward until eventually it will get a lock and sort itself out. Altitude danger is 11, I'll be fine. Come on, let me track you here, mother. You can leave it in point and just keep yeah, slowing it over. Roger. Got him, right, finally. Turning in for the bomb. I've gone a little bit fast here, I may not make it in time. Just testing my laser quickly, lasers fire. Gonna do a weapon release as soon as I get uh, this target. Okay, in line. Weapon release now. Bomb away. A cap is lazing and re trimming. Come on, big bomb. Come on, big bomb. He's got a nasty surprise coming for him. Boom! Helicopter down. That's it. Now, you're probably thinking, oh, Cap, you're cheating. You put him really close to the ground and really slow. And I did uh, just to make it easier for myself. We have tested. It works pretty much within reason at any altitude. We bombed uh, C-130 Hercules today, but we can't show you because to get it to work with the camera on, with both... In fact, we've even buzzy, buddy lazed a, a C-130 where I'll see over there. Buddy lasers a C-130 from his T-Pod and I can pick that up on my LSS and then bomb separately, send a bomb over there and it will track him, kill him. That's how cool it is. However, to do all of that with the camera on and me speaking is beyond our ability at the moment. But that is how we can use, at the moment, T-Pod with the air-to-air -air function and it actually works really well. Go and do it. You can do it on a 200, 300 mile an hour chopper or plane and it works absolutely fine anything you want to add to that rc nope it's a lot of fun it is a lot of fun i hope, Do that. I hope that's useful see you later